Now from Cobb County, Georgia, we're live inside Truist Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Atlanta Braves. The Braves enter the day with their winning streak at 10 games. They'll try to extend it next. Fernando Valenzuela, the Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. What do we need to know here Danny this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch it seems like the more trouble he gets in the better he pitches really tough to hit Maybe with runners in scoring position and that's one out. of the reasons why oh, his team loves when he's out on the mound he doesn't give up very many crooked numbers swing and he takes this the other way to right Aaron is there to put it away for route number one. That second. The second baseman. So one down, Marcus. no one aboard. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. And that's in there for a strike. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I'm just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Looking there, Marcus Semyon goes down for out number two in the top half. So here's Jose Abreu. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. You see the average starting play at 318. Six home runs and 21 driven in. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. Swing and a miss. Couldn't get extended on the screwball, and it's one and two. Only one strike away from throwing it very. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Steven Matz gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, man, we'll get a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. And now, Ronald Acuna. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a hit. Hey, this game's starting off exactly they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Standing in now, Joe Rios. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1-0. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. 
Yeah, batting averages are much better 1-0 in a count than they are when the count is even. They opted to go with a no pitch out field. to lead off the at bat, and it obviously cost them. No real damage done yet, but now they've even got a tougher situation to deal with. That'll bring up Hank Aaron as he grounds one briskly to short. To second for one. Abreu for the big double play. The third baseman, Chipper Jones. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chipper Jones, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the lane towards center field. Springer is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. And now in the box, Lourdes Guriel. He was one for four in Sunday's affair. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitch, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. George Springer stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. The time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. So it was a swinging strike three. George Springer goes down for out number two in the top half. Randall Randall Grichik at the plate now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Count now a ball and a strike. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a few strikes now. Wow that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking. Got him looking and that'll do it. The inning is over. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman lifetime numbers against Stephen Matz. He checks in as a 306 hitter. He also has one home run. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. 0 and 1 here it comes. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. One out. That is good. So one out, and nobody base. aboard. And that'll Albies. bring up Ozzy Albies. Albies. And now a pitch on the way. Swing line drive. That's going to be running hard. He's digging for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Batting seven, the catcher, Travis Jarno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Hit in the air down the right field line. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Simeon's got it and he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. 
Now at the plate, Fernando Valenzuela. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. First pitch coming. Here it is. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. Braves pick up a run on the RBI. Now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's the number leading seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get the guy before he really settles in. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Another 0-2 home. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also Back worth again. noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps Number up as seven. we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat-footed tie for the National League lead in that category. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Again, another foul ball. The next 0 2. One ball, two strikes, Joe. One out, nobody on. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Stepping in now, Steven Matz. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Hot shot on the ground is short. Swanson brings it in. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They're on the show. Acuna digs in now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No left fielder. Ronald Acuna. Now here's the first Junior. offering. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third and his total currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. At the plate now Joe Rios and on the first pitch he grounds foul one for one with a single so far. Oh and one here it comes. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. And he's going to make the catch and track. A fine running play there for the first out. And they get the double play. Doesn't happen often throughout the course of the season, but right there, you talk about having awareness, taking advantage of a team that's maybe sleepwalking a little bit on the base pass. Unbelievable job to get two outs for the price of one in that situation. Skied into straightaway right. Grichuk is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. The love of the game runs deep with. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in to middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. Popped up. Freeman has a play. 
He's got it one away. Second base. Next Marcus. to dig in, Marcus Semyon. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. He is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. To one and two now. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fast just to make contact. Fouled away. Again a one two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy there. We've got ourselves an awesome battle going on right here. Bottom line, the guy who's going to win this situation is the guy who executes. The 2 2 one more time. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does strikes out after a long battle here. He's just ringing up strikeouts no, left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked in the zone. His stuff is dirty today. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. No runs no hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. Sent on the ground out to second Albies pick first and that retires the side. One two three go the Blue Jays. They're down one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and standing in now one of the best players of the past two decades the great Chipper Jones. First pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth the as we take a look at the league five. leaderboard in hits. Ready. And as you see there on the graphic, his Three total man. good for fifth best in the National League. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Pulled toward right center field. Springer on the run. He's there and records the first out. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Come set, now the pitch. On a rope to the second baseman. And the runner gets back, no double play. Now batting, the catcher. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. He's set, here it comes. The 0 and 1 delivery high in the air down the right field line. He's under it and that ends the inning. Braves strand one. They lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks Matt in between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far and he told me overall he's not happy with the at bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here but he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now that may be a tall task but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right Heidi thank you. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far but he's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup and he punch it at nine for the ball game. So another exceptional now effort Maddie. for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders and as you see there he's sitting in second place in the National League in that department. George Springer swings and misses there so he's down 0 and 1. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. A little bit more patient at the plate. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Acuna is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now batting. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And the big right of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Owen won the count. Two out, nobody on. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. It runs on nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. First pitch on its way. Hard hit towards center. Springer is right there, one down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Now the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Abreu. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He's got hits in both of his at-bats. So first pitch coming. Here it is. Hard hit ball to second. Taken in by Simeon. Throw on to first. A three-pitch inning. And the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. But they lead it one to nothing. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his zone with all different options. Fouled off. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. In now, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Strike taken up in the zone. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. Now he looks really the sharp out there, guys. Steven Matz. To the plate now, Steven Matz. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Blue Jays pitcher with an even 1 and 1 count. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. He's trying to help himself. And it's fouled away. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sent on the ground out to second. Albies scoops it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They trail this one one to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Joe Rios. Now the pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder. Hey. 
So stepping in is Hank Aaron. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And the screen shows the story right there. He's that hitting streak will live to see another day. Yeah, he certainly Yo. has. He's seeing the ball so big, Maddie. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. A bouncer up the middle. On to first as they're able to take care of Chipper two away. So a runner at third. Two men are out. Freddy. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. And it's gone. A two run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman. 24 home runs for him on the season as the 3 0 lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. So up steps Ozzy Albies. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. In there, a base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Now Boy, this guy's been here. swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. David Phelps takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. Into the box, Travis Darno, And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. Top of the order due up. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Bo Bichette. First offering on its way. And he pops it up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. That's a ball. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. Fouled away. Here he comes again, 1 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. There to take it is Chipper. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Next, it'll be Marcus Semyon. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. This is popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Simeon in an 0-2 hole here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him. Second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third night, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's...
So now to the plate, Jose Abreu. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Swanson picks it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail in this one 3 0. Last half of the seventh here, and stepping up as the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. First pitch on the way. There for a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance no to pitcher. settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Ready now is Fernando Valenzuela. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with show track. Shows off some great range and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. So far two for three in this one. Oh one count. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, were you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even notice where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. From the stretch. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And what an effort on the running play. Two left for Atlanta, but they're on top to nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Lourdes Gurriel. First pitch on its way. And he looks at the screwball that's over for strike one. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. George Springer the next to hit. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Over to this point. hit the other way out toward right field. Aaron is back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone. Well a huge out number two here at the eighth. Four outs remain but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Here's Randall Gritchick two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him Danny. Yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. One and one the count. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Two out, nobody on.
And it's fouled away. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings. And the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. One, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. Number 58 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Shepard Jones will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. For the Braves, the third baseman, Shepard Jones. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Abreu into foul territory. And no one will get this one. The 0 1 on its way. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. The first base now with the plate ball. is Freddie Freeman. Freddie. He's working on a one for Freeman. three thus far. And now the first pin and a hard liner to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batter, number one. Second now to the man. plate. Here is Ozzy Albies. Albies. Two for three for Albies. him so far, including a triple. And the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Bichette gathers it in. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Braves retired on just four pitches, but they lead it 3 nothing. set to start the ninth in this one and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate first pitch on the way lifted into the air to shallow center Rios is there one away digging in next Reese McGuire struck out in his last trip to the plate yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for out number two. Joe Pennant will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One and one the count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And now this crowd of around 24,000 supporters come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up. 27 down and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. It's always beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 